Hi guys, welcome to CrapChinaCup.com. I'm here with Lara and Hi. she owns a personal shopping company called Miss Other Modes. What made you start your personal shopping company? Like what was the inspiration behind it? And basically, I would worked at Harrods for about nine months, mm -hmm. and then I got an internship at Quinta Centrally, mm -hmm. I got an internship at Thread Styling, oh, and then amazing. I was working for them, I was like, we go through all these lists really quickly, and they'll say to me, oh, please find six things, and I'll be like, okay, do it in an hour. Yeah. And I was kind of getting a bit, not bored, but not really stretched enough, and I said to mum, I was like, I have an idea. Just we go away, write a business plan, and get back to me. And then my mum was like, hey, send it off to the start line. And I was like, oh, oh really no. nervous. He says, look, come in, talk yeah. about it. And I had to pitch, and I was so scared about the pitch. And the guy said to me, he was like, yeah, like, you got the loan. And Niche market, I think it's handbags. That's, yeah. our, that's, our, that's our, you know, number one strong yeah. contender. And then we have, Accessories, we have you know jumpers, kind of jumpers that which was a big player last year. Yeah, but it's bags. Bag, yeah. That's what I mean. How does it work? Because um, you force really rare pieces. Yeah. What we do is because I think people think they have all these bags hidden away, like somewhere. Yeah. We don't. We have a we call it a virtual club. Yeah. So you know, I'm in contact with the stores constantly mm. for the newest stuff. So you now I get people to send me pictures, or I go into the store, take pictures, and we keep our followers updated with the newest collections all yeah. the time. What do you think about like collaborations, like such as the Alexander and H&M collaboration? Like, how do you feel about high fashion and high street coming together personally as a personal shopper? So for it. Yeah. I think it's amazing. I mean, you know, a lot of people can afford to get yeah. the Sarge as under wine. Except that I feel like you want a fair chance to experience like yeah, you know, luxury. Definitely. And also, you know, it's fun because they create things that are you know, limited edition. I mean, you yeah. saw on Instagram, we, just, oh we went crazy. God. Everyone went crazy. I, I lost <laughs> my mind for a minute. Okay, so what do you think about the Alexander and H&M collaboration? I'm, I'm, I'm a high street girl through and through. Like, you know, I, I, I mix it up and I have matches designer, you know, since you're watching, etc. But I'm still top shelf. Yeah. I'm still quite up. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they have so many bits. I'm, I'm, I'm a full Zara person as well. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. I think it's so important that, you know, even though I'm a shopper, even though I, I source high and good, but I'm realistic. Yeah. You know? How did you get your clientele? How did you get your clientele? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. No, no. But like, how yeah. did you find like building your portfolio? Did you find it hard? Like, what was it? Was it was like? almost instant. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a face that you can try? <laughs> they know my face, not this face. I've got a lot of friends in my faces, so you know, I help them out first and then they yeah. have to me online and you know some of them have really big following, so it, it kind of helped the fact that I knew people, but also at the same time I worked really hard. Yeah. So you know, I was getting things that people couldn't get. Yeah. But it was like my, my skill set was built up for me interning with like over two years. Yeah. And then I kind of brought it to the table. Like, what are your future aspirations for your company? You're starting your menswear, like yeah, that we've kind got, of We've thing. got a lot in the pipeline. Yeah. Like, my aspiration is to be the team of the Porto. Yeah. I mean, I really want everyone to know Miss Adam Mode. We want an office in New York, we want an office in Paris, we want an office, you know, in yeah. New York, somewhere. Um, because I feel like it's a global network. Fashion is global, deep, but I hope to have exactly. world domination. Yeah, and I can see it. All about putting in the hard work, sleepless nights, you know, there's been tears, there's been, you know, tantrums, there's been, you know, I, I can't even stress to you like how crazy it's been, but it's so worth it in the end when you know that you do it for you.